I'm Tom Ogden, and today we're here to talk about innovation. Too often it seems we're just running in circles. Every time we try to create something new or different, it looks or feels like something we've seen before. Good ideas can be squashed by a culture that says, we can't do that. We don't have the resources, or the capabilities, or the technology. But innovation should never start with what we can and cannot do. Innovation should always start by asking why. Why should we do it? It's perhaps the most basic question, but in many ways it's also the key to innovation. Innovation out of context is meaningless if you don't take the customer into consideration. In the next stage of innovation, we have to ask the question, what? The two questions, why and what, are inextricably linked. This is where we ask, what do we really want or need? It's also the what if part of the equation. This is where we look at the world of possibilities. For the creative period to work effectively, we shouldn't worry about its current possibilities or even what's thought to be possible. We should always be concerned with what our new product or service will offer. This is where we rank its features and catalog its assets. It's only after we've considered the why and the what that we move on to the how. This is where the hard part really begins. It's the nuts and bolts of the innovation process. How can we do it? How can we provide the goods or services? How can we produce the innovation? These three steps, the why, the what, and the how, are equally important to innovation. But to be effective, the steps must be both clearly defined and acted upon. The concepts are always connected. But if the process is carried out beginning to end, any barriers to innovation will completely melt away.